Hello, hello everyone. This is Marie again. Marie and Melo, how are you? I hope all is well. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I want you to listen to these few words and I hope it will be a joy to your ears. Could you turn that thing back on for me, please? I hope it will be a joy to your ears and my ears. Okay? So enjoy. How are you, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all over the world? Marie and Mella loves you. Well, today is my birthday. I think I already told you all already. Today I'm 69 years old and getting younger. <laughs> well, well, well. I hope I may live to see another 30 years and more so I can see my grandchildren grow up and see their children grow up, you know? But in the hands of God, I put all things because we have to leave everything to the Creator. He knows best. He knows what to do and what not to do. He knows our time. He knows our moment and everything that's going on into this world. So I would love for you to listen to these few words, okay? Just take your time and listen. Maybe you might receive something out of it, just as I will receive something out of it. All righty. It's about healing words. Words can cut deeply. Isn't it amazing? How many of us struggle to remember a phone number, don't we? There were times when we didn't have this type of phone and we would memorize everybody's phone number. I don't know if everybody does it, but I used to do that. I could tell the phone number that I know from the very beginning of a phone. I could tell you numbers that I know when I just hit New York, the number for my mother, my father, my brother, my sister, myself. And now because we use these phones, we can't even remember even the phone number that you have on your own phone. Because we're not using our brain the way it's supposed to use anymore. We let these phones and all these gadgets take over our lives. Don't you think so? Okay, now back to it. Words can cut deeply. Isn't it amazing how oh, many of us struggle to remember a phone number? But we can perfectly recall a string of ash words that is spoken to us over years. Yes, you can't remember a phone number. You can't even remember a name sometimes. But yet, because we speak a harsh word sometimes don't even mean for it to sound so harsh and what we do we remember it for years and years to come and hold a grudge against each other we ought to do better than that don't we oh yes we do there are some that are family that does the same thing to each other there are friends that do it to each other there are strangers that do it to each other what a shame I am not putting these words for anyone to take it to offense. I am just saying something in regards to any one of us, me, myself, and I, and anyone into this whole world. So just listen to the words and don't take offense to it if anyone is going to take offense to it. So I'll go back and start again. Words can cut deeply. Isn't it amazing? How many of us struggle to remember a phone number? But we can perfectly recall a string of harsh words that we have spoken to each other over the years. <laughs> Throughout the Bible, God characterized a person of wisdom as one of those few words. Perhaps it is difficult and perhaps it is because a careless word can do so much damage none of us can deny that words can carry power oh yes they can easily leave a mark they can easily leave a mark that is not quickly erased oh yes oh yes oh yes 
Do our words bring healing to those around us? We can't underestimate the power of a word. The beautiful thing that is about this next verse is that it reminds us that wise words bring healing to our body. Careless work stabs like a sword. Mm -hmm. Be careful of this. The tongue and the lip. <laughs> but wise words bring healing to the body, which is Proverbs 12, verse 18. You hear what it says? Careless words stabs like a sword. But wise words bring healing. Oh, yes it is. If you have spoken careless word, or if I have spoken careless words, you have the power to bring the healing with a new word of wisdom. Oh, yes. If you have been pinged by someone else's word, turn to the wisest words ever written, the scripture, to bring healing to the scars in your heart and in my heart. Let us not say words and say things to each other that will hurt each other. Because we tend to use those words that is said, even if the person don't need anything much about it. We characterize whatever we think about that saying, and we hold a grudge towards each other. We don't speak to each other. We don't call each other. And it is a shame. We ought to stop these foolishness. Let's that tongue of ours let this tongue and this lip of ours stop making offense to each other. We need to talk to each other. We need to speak to each other. We need to call each other. We need to correspond with each other. Whether we are brother, sister, boys and girls, men, ladies, wherever you are, whatever we are, we need to show love. Instead of saying words and take the words and let it be a misunderstanding or take a mistake out of the words and say, oh, he or she told me this and he or she told me that. And then we hold a grudge against each other. And then we say, oh, I, 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 don't, I don't feel any way, but, but it's not true. We hold grudge. We literally hold grudge. We ought to stop that. Each and every one of us, I myself, we ought to stop holding grudge and we ought to stop saying things that we don't meant or saying things that is meant by our words and then we hold it against each other. I hope you understand what I am saying and I hope no one that I know take offense to this because it's not towards anyone's pressure. It's towards myself. And it's a word of speech and a word of wisdom for each and every one of us that we shall think about that and remember, wise words is better than unwise word. Foolish words is selfish and it's no good. Word of wisdom is a better thing because word of wisdom come from the Almighty. Foolish words Foolish language, foolish saying is not of God. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. And as I said, today I'm 69. I'm at the bit age where I become wiser. And I'm asking God to let this wisdom hold me that my understanding will be better each and every day. And it goes for each and every one of us. Be good to yourself. And if you can't be good, be careful. Wherever you're going, whether you're going out or whether you're coming in. Before you go out, make sure you pray for safety and protection. When you get back home, you pray and ask the Almighty, Thank you, Father God, for bringing me home safe. Or bring me to whichever destination that you are going safe. Because without Him, we are nothing. We have to always call upon the Almighty. Don't we? Oh, yes, we have to. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wherever you are, if you subscribe, I know you're sitting here watching me. 
and those who are watching me if you haven't subscribed us yet today is my big day do me a favor write me as much comment thumbs up share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell if you have not subscribed as yet. So thank you very much. Be blessed. Be awesome. Love one another always. And remember, God love you. And so do I. May you have a peaceful, joyous, and memory day as I have today. Be blessed. God love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.